who do you think is the best at your position? Uh, at my position, uh, I probably to me I have to give it to Darrell Reeves. I think he's had a great comeback year. I would say Darrell Reeves. I think a guy that's done it consistently for so long and still doing it the same way, it's kind of hard to take that claim away from him. Reeves is one of those guys that has always stood out. He's gone too far, go get you one! I'm starting to see the Darrell Rivas who played for the New York Jets last year in Tampa. He didn't look like the same guy. A lot of people thought he was done. He's back. Too far! Great play, boy! Rivas, I'm super athletic. Can cover the whole world. Plus, I follow the best receivers. Just look at my salary. In 2014, many top targets took a trip to Rivas Island. Demarius Thomas, Brandon Marshall, Something throws the court. Marshall nice. knocked down by Darrell Rivas. He read it all the way. T.Y. Hilton. Lobs a throw near side. Picked off by Darrell Rivas. They try to get it over top of Rivas to T.Y. Hilton for the first down. Rivas completely undercuts it. Calvin Johnson. Rivas this time on Johnson denying a touchdown throw to Megatron. Keenan Allen. Sammy Watkins. Darrell Rivas in perfect position to knock the ball away from Sammy Watkins and A.J. Green. Grievous is real physical with A.J. and separates his arms from the football. That group combined for only one touchdown versus New England while averaging less than 50 yards per game. His game changes every game because he's studying the receiver that he's going to face. His ability to adapt to that is one of the reasons why he's one of the best in the league. Hey, hey, oh, 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 easy, Lord. Lord. Hey. I know when I play against Reeves, I got to be fundamentally sound. He didn't bite on the first move, so you really got to work him. He trusts his technique, so whenever you have a guy who's fundamentally sound, along with being gifted athletically, and you bring those two together, that makes a great player. Here's it out toward the left side, yes. down by Rivas, all over Golden Tate. <laughs> there was a drive play. I ran a crossing route, and I thought I was winning, and some way he speeds up, hops in front of me, and bats it down, and it was a huge third down. Golden Tate gets a step, but Darrell Rivas, he's able to make up the ground. That's when I really knew I need to focus in a little more. That is great recovery by Darrell Rivas because he got beat off the line of scrimmage, but he closed quickly. For the most part, the guy he's on is not many catches. He's very confident. He has his little finger wave, you know, his little finger wave, like, no, no. When he does that, it's serious. <laughs> it's, it's serious. As Richard Sherman waits for his name to be called on the top 100, Darrell Rivas checks in six spots higher than Joe Hayden and two above Patrick Peterson. Darrell Rivas, Richard Sherman, Patrick Peterson. It's a group with a lot of competition, you know what I'm saying, at the cornerback position. 24. That makes me number one. No disrespect to Richard, you know, uh, he's a great football player, but Darrell is a different player. <laughs> he's a different kind of guy, man.